Well, folks, I have to say, I am genuinely quite excited. Um, I don't know if, uh, uh, well, I don't know, it's quite a difference on the camcorder. Uh, the left side, the end part of the car, I did Selena's butt first. Whenever I'm experiment, you know, I'm doing something for the first time, I always work on her butt first because, you know, with people, you know, you might be, well, you know, there's butt people and breast people, but, you know, when it comes to car, I think most people are face people. So I usually try to do the face of the car first or last rather because I'm kind of hoping that by the time I get done with the other sections I'll know how to do the face you know I'll be a little more I'll be better at it and I'll make them face more attractive um, I wish I would have went to roller method a lot sooner I if I it's a lot easier now mind you I'm actually in better shape you know I've lost 13 pounds and I've been do working out and all that so it's and it's cooler today so um, but it, I found this to be a lot easier uh, it, and it requires a lot less papering which is always nice and because it, really it's the papering that I find annoying um, but anyway the left side is what part that got done today and I think it did have less streak. Now, I don't know, it's still, well, it's pretty dry, but um, it, um, I don't know what it's gonna look like. The guy that I, whose videos I learned from claimed that when they dry, um, they tend to look kind of like crap. Now, but um, he, he was talking about something with orange peel. Now, he was painting his uh, car red. And orange peel might be a more of a problem if you're using a red color. I'm doing black. I don't quite know what I'll get with that. Um, but the roller method is a lot easier, and it didn't seem to streak quite as badly. I did have to worry more about um, the sides of the roller having more paint than the other sides, you know. Um, and that was particularly because I, in some parts I required me to get the thing sopping wet, like actually this part and the roof. And the roof, I have to admit, does seem to be uh, streaking just a bit, but we'll see. Um, so, um, that is a problem. And then, of course, there does seem to be like streaks that are left by the roller. I don't know if they're going to fade, though. They might fade. I try to go over them, but sometimes they just remain. Um, but all in all, uh, this was a lot easier, and I think she looked right now. She looks great. I mean, I, I am I am genuinely quite excited because to tell you the truth, when I first started this, my my main goal was to get her protected. You know, she didn't have any paint on her, at least on her top, uh, on her roof, and on her hood, and on her trunk. She didn't have any paint. She was getting rust holes, and. Um, so that was really my main uh, objection, to get her um, protected, you know. Um, now, I was going to try, you know, I was going to try to make her as good looking as I could with my limited skill um, and with the means I had, which, you know, I mean, really for a car, yeah, this is one example of sometimes some of the problems you have. Um, um, with the limited skill and, you know, with the means, you know, to get a car to have the, the, the to, it came out of the showroom look, you really need to do the best, you know, the, the most, the best way to paint a car is to have an airbrush. Uh, but airbrushes are expensive, and if you're only doing this, if you're not a car hobbyist, uh, having an airbrush is probably, you know, just a ridiculous expense. And, you know, you can go to a professional, but they're going to probably, I think, a, 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 you know, a professional job will cost anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars, and I just don't have that type of money. So, I, you know, I, I took into account, yeah, was, you know, you see sometimes this is some of the problems you get with the brush rolling method. Um, um, 
I took into account that, you know, she may not look quite as good, you know, as she did when she was brand new, you know, but my main concern was to get her protected. And, I, you know, I was going to try my best to make her look good, you know, um, but, you know, because Selena, just between us, Selena's a bit of a vain car. But, um, um, so, but I was going to do my best, but my main, my, my, my main thing was if I could get her, just get her protected from the elements, I'll be happy, you know. And so I didn't really expect too much. And, you know, but I, and I have to admit, this is way beyond my expectations. She, you know, she does, she looks great now. It, this is beautiful. And now, of course, you know, maybe it hasn't fully dried. I don't know. And, of course, we have slight little mistakes, as I was pointing out. There's a little bit of a drip mark here, and there's a streak mark here. Uh, and that might be a streak mark, too. And But still, it, it looks pretty damn good, I think. So I am, you know, I am genuinely quite excited about this. So, um, the next video, I'll show you how I do this, you know, um, it didn't turn out to be as big of a deal as I thought. I thought the mixing was going to be a real big pain in the ass, and it, it, it really wasn't that bad. So, um, uh, we'll see how it looks when it dries. I mean, it is possible. Maybe the guy's right. Maybe once it fully dries. I mean, it, it's pretty dry now. It, but, um, but I, yeah, it's kind of a tacky dry now. But, you know, maybe he's right. I mean, the, the trunk was done first. I do see that there's some kind of weird type of streaking. So maybe, you know, maybe there, it, it is going to look like crap. But we'll see. So, uh, stay tuned.